Minister Gayanth Karnatalika says he did not present a document to the cabinet during his tenure as Minister of Mass Media, which imposes punishments, restrictions or influences the media. The minister made this statement at a media briefing held today. Did you present a draft bill to the cabinet which enables media institutions to be fined and journalists to be imprisoned? What is your involvement? I must make it clear that the president, prime minister, nor the government intend to do anything which penalizes, restricts or influences media freedom in any way. There is a draft bill for an independent council for news media standards act. I remember in August last year we issued a cabinet paper about appointing an independent regulatory commission for electronic media. Its intention was not in any way to influence, punish or affect media freedom. It only contains a factor of raising the standards. It was also discussed at that point that the government does not intend on passing any law by force. It was made clear that these matters should be carried out independently. It was also decided that this should be done in consultation with the public, media organizations and media heads and in a way that we can come to a consensus. In the draft bill which you presented to the cabinet before obtaining the views of the public, does it speak of regulations which could punish and fine the media and journalists could be in prison? No, that is not the kind of bill we drafted. We presented a draft to establish a commission and we received cabinet approval. Before I lost the ministry, I had decided that if I had another week, I would convene all media heads. Key organizations like the Free Media Movement said they were involved in the first round of talks, but they were unaware of certain facts in this document. So we can meet with them and give them the opportunity. Do you think that these factors will be included into the media policy of the good governance government? As far as I know, nothing which causes any harm will be included. I am asking this again. Did the draft bill which you presented to cabinet during your tenure as Minister of Mass Media contain points which speak of punishing journalists, fining media institutions and the news sources should be disclosed? No, there wasn't anything which imposes any punishment to anyone as such. The document, titled the Independent Council for News Media Standards Act, proposes a council for news media and that it should be headed by a lawyer or a retired judge. According to the document, the council has provisions to impose fines and prison sentences to media institutions and journalists. The point in this document which draws the highest level of concern is that the news media is bound to reveal any source before this council.